Kurt Ratzlaff here of Small Craft Cruising, and this is my $75 trailer. It needs work, and I'm going to work on it. So here's the trailer as it is, um, as I bought it for $75. Bucks. I already recarpeted the, uh, the skids there, so that's new, but the cable there is old and outdated, so I'm going to put a new one with a belt on it. It's a bit of rust there, you can see. The, um, the rubbers and such need to be replaced and the zip tied lights are a little less than legal. So here we go. And you know, who needs the jack? The rubber on the tires is pretty old. The, the rims were mismatched, so I replaced both of those. Uh, I'm taking off the, the, the rollers and such to get those replaced. And just stripping it down. The, the trailer was wired with house wiring, not trailer wiring, and the lights were literally zip tied on so you cut the zip ties and of course there's a pile of wires behind it but here's the trailer all stripped down and ready for paint well I gotta sand it first and such but lots of hours sanding and some spray painting later we did gunmetal gray with kind of a matching uh, wheel fender there I uh, gotta touch it up a bit and here's the trailer pretty much put back together I added a, a reflector there for you know safety and whatnot and then we got the new winch in, which looks quite a bit nicer, and you know it's a strap, so it's better. Um, some of the new rubbers got to get put on. I don't know what they're called, grommets. I'm not sure. Anyways, I had drilling a hole for the light mounts and wiring trailers is super easy. Like that was probably the easiest part of this entire thing. Got that all done, and this is my one day project. All the parts and such cost me $162 plus the trailer, so it's like $237 for the whole trailer. All nice and painted and pretty with the winch and everything.